Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we hear very interesting, I would say a quick and relaxing algebra question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have two minus, right here we have parentheses, two divided by two and times two. So what is the correct answer? I suggest you to pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in, in just a few minutes. It will be really interesting. Right here we have three options, so we can easily check our solutions with these options. We have option A, option B and uh, option and see which is also really great to check to check our answers okay so right now let's look closely at our question on the first side a lot of students may be saying hey mister this is like the easiest question i ever seen we have all the time two 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 and two right here we have subtraction division multiplication so it looks like a very easy question but in the same way a lot of students make this common mistake because a lot of students solve this question in a wrong order what i mean a wrong order of operation right here we have three mathematical operators we have subtraction in the beginning we have division and we have multiplication and moreover we have parentheses so we need to mention that we have parentheses and what i mean right now a lot of students might be saying okay let's just go from for example from left to right let me change my pen real quick so let's just go from from left to right for example we have two minus two equal to zero the next thing we have division by two and subtraction by two and you know right here we have zero so a lot of students might be saying okay let's just go from left to right and i don't know anything about order of operation so maybe correct answer is is a or another part of students say okay maybe we need to maybe we need to divide it first or we need to multiply it first you know it turns into a big argument a lot of students argue with each other what we need to do it first because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so if we start with subtraction right here we have one answer if we start with division right here we have a completely different answer and if we start with this multiplication we have completely different answer and you know it's not a good thing in terms of math when we solve this question with the three different answer we need to know about the thing which is called order of operation which is extremely important important thing in terms of math because this order of operation will help will help us to order all of this stuff so then we can easily say after learning this order of operation we can easily say okay for example multiplication first the next thing we have like addition subtraction or something like that so we, we then we will know the correct algorithm correct principles how can we evaluate this type of expression so i want to leave this this part like that and let's look closely at the, at the thing which is called order of operation so here on the left side you can see this question so we're gonna solve this question right here and right now and on the right side we have looks like a quick checklist this is like a PEMDAS order of operation this is like a quick checklist but this is not an English word this is our quick checklist so each of these letters stands for something for example if you're talking about left side to right side which is a correct order to to evaluate our expression because uh, on the left side we have the element which had the higher priority and on the right side we have the element which had like the lower priority so to be honest this uh, this uh, line right here means the the higher priority or lower priority so on the left side we have higher priority on the right side we have the lower priority so right now let's start with the first step the first step according to pemdas order of operation and uh, i want to show i want to say a few words about it because maybe a lot of students prefer this thing which is called bottomless order of operation or or another variation or like something like that or bomb das or another variation like padmas something like that and you know uh, this uh, this thing has absolutely the same meaning so to be honest the order of operation is absolutely the same for all of this order of operation it just depending on what country you live in for example you live in the usa in canada in europe you can easily use Bodma, uh, pandas or bodmas in the uk in india so to be honest order of operation is absolutely absolutely the same so i hope you understand why i choose pandas order of operation there's no difference between this but i I choose this one okay so letter p stands for parentheses these type of brackets maybe this type of squiggly brackets in some countries maybe this type of brackets and you know parentheses has the highest priorities right now let's evaluate the expression inside parentheses first of all let's scan up a question in terms of parentheses let's do this where do we have parentheses yeah we have parentheses right here so we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first so let's do this right now so as a result what do we have the same beginning so we have two minus the next thing we have two divided by two inside parentheses equal to one we can easily leave it with parentheses okay we can easily write it like that as it looks like that and we have times times two so after first step we have 
we have this expression, so we can easily say that we complete our parentheses, parentheses part. Okay, right now let's look closely at the next step, because after parentheses we need to find exponents, we need to evaluate the expression with exponents, but don't be scared about this exponent, this is the same power, so we are talking about, for example, 4 to the power 10, we are talking about these powers, okay, where do we have a powers, like 2 square basically, yeah? and we need to find where do we have powers, and to be honest, in the first step, on the first step, we can easily see that we don't have powers, so in this first step with parentheses, we can easily find it that right here we don't have uh, exponents, okay, so we don't have right here the 2 squares, we don't have any of those, we don't have 2 squares, 2 cubes right here, we don't have any of those, so we can easily cancel this exponents, exponents part. Okay, right now the next step is multiplication and division group. This is one common group right here, so don't be confused about it. This is one group, so multi M stands for multiplication, D stands for division. And you know, this one common group, because we need to evaluate this expression with the same priority. So multiplication, division are tied or for priority or importance. So we need to evaluate the expression in a strict order from, from, from left to right. So whenever, of course, we have a mixture of multiplication and division, because at this point in our question, we don't have this mixture. We have only multiplication at this point. So we don't have any like multiplication division signs, we don't have any of those, we have only multiplication sign right here, but maybe you will have like a complicated question with multiplication division mixture. So for example, whenever you have expression looks like 2 times 2 divided by 3, for example, we have multiplication division mixture, so we need to evaluate this expression in a strict order from left to right. So the first sign from left to right will be this multiplication, so as a result we will have 4 divided by 3, I don't want it to divide it, we will have like uh, 1.33 I guess, something like that, I don't want it to divide it, but we. I hope you get the point. Okay, and when we have, for example, 2 divided by, uh, let's go with the 2 divided by 2 and times 3, something like that, where we have division first sign from left to right. So as a result right here we need to divide at first, okay? So we have 2 divided by 2 equal to 1, so we have 1 times 3, right here we will get We'll have, we'll have three. Okay, so it was a quick like assessment, quick introduction to this uh, multiplication division part because a lot of students are confused because of this part, but whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division without parentheses, without exponents, so we have like multiplication division mixture, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And I don't talk about the expression with parentheses. With parentheses we have a completely different order, parentheses is all the time has the highest priority, so I don't, I don't mean right now about the expression with parentheses, I mean right now about multiplication division mixture. So we have this quick, quick introduction to this quick assessment to this step. And right now let's look closely at our question. As I said before, after parentheses we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication division sign. We have multiplication sign right here. And a lot of students might be confused because of this parentheses right here. And you know, I recommend you to look at this parentheses, what do we have inside of this parentheses. Inside parentheses we have only one. Okay, so we have only constant. So we're not talking about implicit multiplication, we have only one, so we can actually get rid of these parentheses, we can actually cancel these parentheses because we have only one, so it's not like we can talk about implicit multiplication, I'm not talking about implicit, uh, I'm not talking about PGMDAS right here, I'm talking about basic order of operation, basic PEMDAS, so we can actually get rid of these parentheses, so whenever you have only one constant inside parentheses, so whenever you have like two with parentheses and the next thing we have division by two, you can actually get rid of these parentheses and we have as a result 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1, okay? So I hope you get the point and we can actually get rid of these parentheses. As a result we have 2 minus 1 times 1 times 2 and as I said before, after parentheses and exponents we need to find multiplication division signs. Where do we have it? We have multiplication sign right here and we don't have division sign. So if we look closely at our order of operation right here, we can actually find multiplication right here, we have it, we can actually simplify this expression, and we don't have division, so we can actually cancel this division sign, we don't have we don't have this division sign. So after parentheses, we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication sign, let's do this right now, so as a result, what do we have? We have 2 minus 1 times 2 equal to equal to 2. And as a result, uh, at this point, whenever we have the like, expression with uh, addition and subtraction sign, because A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, you don't need this order of operation anymore. Of course, we can actually mention that right here we don't have uh, addition, we have only subtraction. We can actually mention it, but to be honest, at this point, you can easily solve it without any problems. So 2 minus 2 equal to 
equal to zero and it looks like zero is a correct answer a correct answer to our question according to pemdas order of operation and right now let's look closely in the beginning because in the beginning i thought maybe zero is a correct answer we solve it and you know it happens sometimes in terms of math when you solve this question in the wrong order you can actually get a correct answer it happens in terms of math it's not a, a new thing in terms of math but to be honest it was a really wrong order of operation because as i said before in the beginning we started with this with this subtraction right here which is absolutely uh, not a good not a good thing not a good uh, approach in terms of math because subtraction has the all the time um, lower priority is all the time like in the end you can evaluate the expression with with subtraction and addition before this parentheses after parentheses exponent then multiplication division or addition subtraction in the end if you don't have like multiplication and and division sign so the correct answer in our question is zero let's find this let's find this answer in our in our option yeah we have it we have this we have this zero so let me just erase all of this stuff right here and we're going to mention that zero is a correct answer you know sometimes happen that maybe a lot of students might be thinking that the one is a correct answer they try to combine all this stuff they try to solve this question absolutely randomly maybe a lot of students like want to solve this question by with the quick method they say that option c is a correct answer well i'm going to underline all this stuff right here because when you choose the correct answer zero you can easily be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely absolutely correct i'm really happy about you i'm going to erase this this stuff right here and we have zero as a correct answer what about one right here there is no way right here one is a, is a correct answer because it's it's really complicated to solve this question and that the correct answer is correct answer is one and of course two is absolutely wrong answer because we solve it because we solve it according to pemdas order of operation and correct answer according to pemdas is zero so i really hope you you get the point and i really hope you understand if you think about order of operation so why order of operation is extremely important because just imagine we have mm, this is easy expression i agree with it this is maybe not that hard but to be honest let's imagine we have two like plus a three divided by five the next thing we have parentheses for example three times four we have minus seven we have eight minus four inner parentheses two divided by two and we have we have something like that to be honest a little bit more complicated expression than this one and this is extremely important part because we need to know about order of operation and right now we know a little bit about order of operation so whenever we have expression with like a lot of complicated stuff like parentheses division multiplication inner parentheses subtraction addition so right here we have all this all this stuff and to be honest we can actually write right here all uh, even powers we can easily write it and to be honest without order of operation it's really hard to solve this question yeah it's not like that that we can like combine this thing we can start with subtraction division multiplication we can like solve this question by inspection but it's not a good thing but you can do this you can easily do this because it's not that complicated at this one but to be honest at this point you really need this order of operation so everyone know that parentheses is it's a first step so first we need to evaluate the expression with parentheses right here and right here the next thing we need to get this uh, these powers the next thing we need to evaluate this expression in inner parentheses the next thing we we need to subtract it so as you can see a lot of really uh, really complicated stuff right here so it's really great to know about order of operation so the first thing parentheses the second thing exponent and the next thing multiplication division and addition subtraction in the end so it's really great to know about order of operation and i really hope you get the point why order of operation is extremely important extremely important nowadays and few hints to this question because maybe a lot of students want to to check this answer with me right now in your on your calculator so try to plug in the whole question from left to right so uh, i'm going to plug in it for example like that uh, on the from left side to right side as a result we have two minus 2 divided by 2 and times 2 so i just rewrite our question and you know I try to plug in the whole question from left to right because you know sometimes happen that calculators work with problems as you type it in so for example you plug in 2 2 minus 2 in the beginning yeah and calculators say okay means to right here we have zero but it's wrong approach try to plug in the whole question from left side 
to right side and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation because a lot of calculators works according to PEMDAS, BODMAS and you know a lot of calculators works according to a correct order of operation so then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation we have right here subtraction we have right here subtraction we have we have uh, right here multiplication so you know calculator know perfectly what what to do right here and it's it's a really great thing for you to check this answer right now with me in your in your calculator so thank you for your time wish all the best in your life if you choose correct answer B or correct answer C, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math. Here is a set phase, and here is also a set phase to you because this is a wrong approach, this is a wrong answer, and you know. Try to learn a little bit about PEMDAS order of operation, which is extremely important, extremely important nowadays. So uh, here's once more our order of operation. Here's once more our solution to this question, parentheses, multiplication, subtraction. And right here we have a few really interesting tricky moves. We First of all, we need to know a little bit about order of operation because there are a lot of complicated stuff, a lot of hard questions in terms of math. So we need to know everything about PEMDAS because PEMDAS, this is a basic thing. This is not a complicated thing. So we need to... We need to know it, we need to learn it. And I really hope you're, you solved this question uh, and they say that correct answer is zero. I really appreciate it and I'm really happy that you solved this question absolutely correct. If you solved this question wrong, nothing bad, but you need to review a little bit your basic math. So you need to review a little bit your your basic math skills, which is extremely important nowadays. So thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.